Pottery. My name is Margaret Jansen and I opened up my business Apple Pie Pottery in 1988. I produced handmade pottery, both uh, decorative and functional. We have three main designs. One is the Celtic, one is the Valley Apple, which is behind me here, and we have the Blue Iris. We also do a lot of custom work, corporate work, wholesale, and retail. We have a gallery where we show um, exhibitions of paintings and sculptures during the year and those shows change approximately every three months. Now, I had this space behind me where the gallery now is, uh, I had that space available and it's, it's had several lives. It's been part of an apartment, it has been um, part of my tea room several years ago when I had a tea room as well as the studio. Uh, most of the people I show uh, I know on some level or other, although this recent show I met this woman at a, it's called a sister fair, and I immediately recognized her talent and asked her if she'd be interested in having a show. the Valley Apple design which I came up with about 12 years ago, 15 years ago. Actually I had been putting leaves on flower pots for a while uh, in my work, planters, outside and inside planters. And then it dawned on me one day, well if I can put leaves on just appliquing them along the edge, I can also create a bit of an apple theme. Actually, I experimented on a plate, but I'll show you with the bowl uh, here. Um, I took an indent with, I made an indent with a knife to get the curvature of the top of the apple. And, uh, and then I sculpted uh, a stem. And in order to apply it to the existing pot, in this case the bowl, you have to take this little slab of clay that you've cut out, lay it, trace it, trace it on the back and then score it with a sharp uh, needle tool and then you take a little bit of liquid clay smear it on before you put the other piece on and there you have it and of course then you have to tidy up the edges and the stem is done the same way this is one of the wall pieces i've done i call it gaia it is uh, representative of mother nature the creator of all uh, of all things. Um, many cultures thousands of years ago believed in the power of Gaia. They believed that indeed the earth is is and was made by a female power, um, which is kind of interesting considering where we are now, culturally speaking. Uh, you'll see the imprint of the leaves. Um, as well as the ferns, which are in behind, where I have taken actual ferns and airbrushed. These are actual leaves that I have rolled into the surface of the female torso. And the original torso was done with a friend of mine <clears throat> who is a sculptor by, by trade, and uh, he and I took this from a live model. And uh, I, I use this as the base for various other uh, torso sculptures that I'm working on. I've always enjoyed working on the wheel. Um, it's wonderful to get up each day and know I can work relatively by myself. Uh, I'm only two steps from the house if I have to deal with family or cooking or whatever task. Um, also, it's in extremely important that I'm able to check the kilns in various times, so when you can live next door to your business, it's really, in this type of business, it's almost mandatory. <laughs>
saves I see the waters in I see the waters in I see the waters in A river of peace naming them but since I'm so involved with them every day I should name them yeah That's, that gives me something to think about <laughs> um, yes we just got a a new to me uh, it's actually a second-hand kiln in the summer because my kiln one of my kilns sort of up and died and it just wasn't worth replace uh, repairing um, it was about 40 years old it had been secondhand when someone gave it to me, so uh, it certainly lived out its life. Um, we're quite happy with the way this new one is working, although I just discovered a tiny wrinkle in it, and that is if I fire it too full, it tends to overfire because it retains the heat and the glazes tend to keep flowing a bit. This piece is getting ready to be cleaned up. It's just been dipped. It's a Yunnan cooker, and I believe they originated in the Yunnan province of China. And uh, of course, I'm sure there's a thousand and one variations on this, but it basically acts as a steamer. This being the lid, um, this center piece is hollow and it has perforated holes. So when I'm making it on the wheel, I save a center chunk of clay and then bring that up almost as a separate little pot and make sure I put my finger right down to the wheel head or the bat form that I make them on um, so that I, I can easily hollow it out. Yeah. Um, the idea of them is that they set on top of another pot that has some boiling water and the water boils it cooks whatever is in here through through the steam coming up from the holes and they work quite effectively.